I, I can't say anything about people inside Iran, um, but outside of Iran, us, people living outside of Iran, I think we uh, couldn't um, unite and uh, we brought up our own personal agendas or you know political opinions that was um, dear to us um, um, in front of what was good for the country. Um, that's 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 a huge source of disappointment for me. Because- Why did that happen? Because it felt like we did unite, and then somehow things got derailed a little bit. Yeah. say outside the country. What? what yeah, what we were united at the beginning. Of- yeah, we were at the beginning, but at the end, basically, we destroyed everything. <laughs> this is a special edition of Rook. The uprising one year later, and my next guest is an Iranian-American political satirist, an actor, a TV, a radio host, an advocate for human rights in Iran, Kambiz Hosseini is the host of Paradox, a Persian political satire show and podcast that airs on Radio Farida. He also co-created and hosted the very successful TV show Parazit from 2009 to 2012, and has been honored by the Reporters Without Borders for his advocacy of freedom of expression. Combis is well-known across the global Iranian community as one of the most prominent voices in the diaspora and right now. Combis Hosseini joins us from Los Angeles today. Hello, sir. Hello, Jean. Happy to be with you. My sound okay? Does the voice is fine? Is yeah, it, you sound good. Uh, you sound good. Uh, it's nice uh, to hear you and see you. Thank you so much for being part of this special. Thank you for having me. So let me ask you the question. I'm the general question. I'm starting with everybody with is, is uh, what are you feeling one year <laughs> later, um, and what lessons do you think we have learned as a global Iranian community in the year after the killing of Masa Amini? I think I have some uh, mixed feeling, um, the feeling of pride and for the achievement um, that we had in past year and disappointment that uh, we couldn't keep it up. So uh, mixed feelings. Yeah, I'm I'm very proud of uh, women inside Iran. I'm very proud of what happened and how it happened and what we achieved and very disappointed uh, with oppositions outside of Iran um, handling and not being handling the whole situation and the way they did and not being united as we wished them to be. Did you, did you personally think things would go differently this year? I remember you and I having a yeah, conversation. It, it sure. went differently. It did went, it did go differently. Um, I think we, you know, we left this huge scar on this brutal dictator's face that it's not going to go away. And he's going to go everywhere with that thing on his face. I mean, the scar is there. It right. was different. It was... It was one... Well, I, it, funny, you, the word different. I mean, I I remember this conversation you and I had back in, I think it was probably October. Uh, sure. last, I'm not sure if it was on the air or not, but but where you said this time... I can feel it's it. Different. This time is different. And I think the implication of what you meant is this time they're going to be gone. This time we're, we, you know, this, this, this is not going to, this is not just another uh, Auburn or another. Uh, stupid yeah. Rising you know, I always, I always believed throughout the years that I covered all this um, protest and uprising. I was, you know, it, every year there was a reason for it. You know, it was like the gas price at some point. There was an election on, 2009 and all that. I always believed if women um, lead something like this, it's going to be different. So this time, that's that's why day one when I when I heard that something like this happened, and then and then women rose, and I'm like, I told you, this is different. This is going to be different. This is you know, um, it's going to make some some noise and make some scars, and it did. When you talk about the disappointment. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I feel like that intersects with the question around lessons learned for the global Iranian community. Can you can you reflect on what you mean by disappointment? I mean, what what is it that we should or could do better? Uh, in yeah, the months? I'm actually it's funny because I'm doing a show um, this week about this also that what we learned, uh, what mistakes we made. Um, I think we, I I can't say anything about people inside Iran. Um, but outside of Iran, us, 
people living outside of Iran, I think we uh, couldn't um, unite and uh, we brought up our own personal agendas or you know political opinions that was um, dear to us um, um, in front of what was good for the country. Um, that's 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 a huge source of disappointment for me. Why did that happen? Because it felt like we did unite, and then somehow things got derailed a little bit. Yeah, say outside the country. What? what yeah, what we were united in the beginning. Of... Yeah, we were united in the beginning, but at the end, basically, we destroyed everything. <laughs> and, and <laughs> what, why? What? What was the turning? I point? don't, man. I'm not. I'm not a political activist. No, I'm not. But, no. I, I don't know. I mean, you should, you should ask those people that they. Um, represented themselves as the representatives of people um, from different um, aisles of uh, society and uh, they were trying to you know get something done I'm I'm not part of it I just know that uh, we don't have a solid political activist Is... within an organization that can push an agenda of removal of this brutal regime. Uh -huh. we don't have we don't one, have the organization. We one united have, organization. I mean, we don't even have one organization hmm. that uh, can uh, can basically um, um, have a, a organization that has a structure and can uh, uh, have statements and bring people together and take care of people. And we don't have that. We don't have a political party. Well, there's been attempts at that organization, yeah. but uh, then people disagree with each other. Yeah. <laughs> right. That's a, that's a, that's another problem that we have this half ass organizations that they're trying to do something and then they cannot sit uh, at one table all together and, and push people's agenda. Combis, is that, is that balkanization, that that division, that disunity that you're talking about, is that fixable? Of course, because it, what, like you said, it's what we learned in the past year. We learned that we should put our differences aside and use opportunities like this in order to, um, you know, overthrow this government. I think if if um, something like this happened next time, the people who they were leader of the oppositions or they so-called call themselves the leaders or whatever they were. Um, they should learn from the, you know, what happened and all this disappointments and depression that they caused. Let me ask you about what you, what you hear from. I, I have this, this image of this impression of, of uh, Kambi's Hosseini's life where you're, yeah. you're, you know, you are outside of Iran now, but yeah. you've got to be deeply connected to and communicating with a lot of people inside Iran on the basis of mm -hmm. the popularity of your show and the interactions in in, in the yeah. socials and et cetera. Um, tell me about what you've been hearing from Iran Iranians inside Iran, and what would you say has shifted, <laughs> if anything, in the social and polit political culture of Iran between a year ago and now? It did shift shift a lot because now nowadays you know you see a lot of young women not having a scarf walking on the street. Um, the the values that we were living inside Iran with before um, this uprising uh, are different values. Now people have different values. Um, lots of things has changed culturally for us <clears throat> inside Iran. Outside of Iran, we're the same shit, same bullshit, same people trying too, too much ado for nothing. Seriously, I think I think uh, people. That's a bit, that, I, I think people. Are, yeah, go ahead. Well, I maybe that's a little simplest simplistic. I mean, I feel yeah, like yeah, but that's the last maybe year. I'm, we... Maybe I'm too angry because because of what happened and we couldn't handle it as as people as immigrants or whatever you call them, exiled people. Hmm. I would say we couldn't we couldn't carry the torch, uh, you know, and. Um, Maybe I'm angry because of that. I mean, mm. I'm, I'm part of it too. You know, it's it's not that I'm the pride you talked I'm, about. I'm, I'm the, part the, of, huh? the, the the rebirth of Iranian pride. I think you correctly. I, I I certainly agree that the the genesis or the the starting point of that was those young people in Iran, those brave souls, those young women and and men who were leading the thing and mm. and, and brought that pride to us outside of Iran that for many 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 years we haven't felt. Mm. But I also think that there was a pride. Was there not, or is there not? in the feeling of connection when, you know, we would, I mean, I, I said this many times over the last year, but even just going on a demonstration <clears throat> in Toronto with 
thousands of other people mm. down the center of the city saying, you know, proudly we are Iranian. Yeah. I mean, that that's something that never happened in my life before, you know, and yeah. real pride involved in that. And and that that I do feel is like a shift in the diaspora as well, albeit it hasn't felt that way in the last in more recent months where it feels like there's been a diminishing of of that somehow. But that the time has changed, you know. I mean, you're you're referring referring to this one specific period of time that we were very united in Toronto. There was that huge protest in Berlin and all that. Yes. But now, um, I don't think you can gather those people again. You know, with the, with the same um, kind of feeling that they had before. Hmm. I don't. I don't think. I don't. Something has to happen inside Iran again. People right. has to have people have you know people paid a lot of price for little achievement that we, yes. that we have so far, but now we were waiting outside of Iran for for people inside Iran to to go on the street and you know pay another huge price again so we can come out and say this and that you know well, which shouldn't be the case. That is a dark way to look at it, but I understand. I mean, but. <laughs> You know what? That's that's how it's been. You know, people. Uh, we have more comfort um, outside of uh, Iran, our everyday life. Um, for um, any given person who's living in Toronto, a doctor, a nurse, somebody who came and studied and became somebody to just leave his job and go on pro- go on protesting for Iran and doing this and that. So they um, they need an extra cushion. <laughs> to do oh, that as a i don't think of- everybody i don't think every no nobody is like activist by birth you know people become activists because of the, their surroundings hmm. yeah i i hear i hear you that um first of all thank you again for being part of this i think this is the most thank you serious uh 12 minutes you and i have ever um, look it's it's I can't, it's, it's really hard for me to be serious with you it's, i know really, i know myself as well no no it's really hard for me to be serious myself but i tried my best for 10 minutes to just answer your question and be logical about this because it's important i really you appreciate know? that and, and i hope a- that you invite me again and i can laugh at your show again and i can uh, crack jokes and i can get hate mails and stuff Right, right. Unlikely you'll be invited back after this morose performance. All but, right, all um, right. <laughs> uh, uh, you see, we go into the uh, then we go into. Yeah, our, don't yeah. don't take me there, man. Don't no. just let's let's just stick with Masa Gina I mean, as, as, as life freedom. Final, as a final uh, question to you, you know, you talked about mixed feelings uh, mm-hmm. at the at the top of this uh, this conversation, and and I think mm-hmm. actually those mixed feelings have been borne out in what you've been saying for the last uh, 10, 12, 15 minutes. You know, you can hear you kind of going back and forth. Yeah, I'm kind of down, man. I'm I'm serious. Well, I shouldn't be. I'm, I'm, uh, remember, you, you were saying this. I think you were the one who said that us broadcasters, we, people who chose to do this, they're yes. givers. They're givers. They should be givers. They, they give every time they go on air. They give all the time. So they should have some sort of a giving personality. So my my job, your job, maybe is to give, to give hope, to give, oh, it's going to be better. It's going to be fine tomorrow. When the sun comes up next day, it's on our side, you know. But uh, but right now, I'm kind of disappointed, to be honest. Is that to say? I shouldn't you... be. I shouldn't be, but I am. Okay. What well, no, you've, you've, you've articulated that. Is that to yeah. say you are not optimistic about the weeks and months ahead for change in Iran? Iran is changing every day. If you're saying that I'm optimistic that every you know, Akhuns are going to be gone in, tomorrow at 10 a.m., no. But I'm optimistic that with the things going on inside Iran, the kind of this generation is learning every day, and they're fighting this um, brutal regime every day. Uh, because of them and because of what's happening, yes, I'm optimistic. Things are changing every day, even even that we don't see it. Uh, like it's not vivid, it's not visible. Um, it's not protest. Nobody's dying on us. Nobody's getting shot, and we, you don't have the breaking news media material to say, oh, something is changing. Yeah. But down there, um, fundamentals are changing, and because of that, I'm yeah, I'm very optimistic. Um. I I, uh, I I mean, there's so much I want to continue with you. We've got a bunch yeah. of guests wait, waiting. I, I know. I'm I, 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 I thank you. I really thank I, you, Jean. Thank you so much. Your candor and your perspective. Thank you, brother. Thank um, you, brother.
look forward to seeing you soon. Yeah, I appreciate that. Thank you.